Shout out to Ashen Lewis for sending me the story. And if it sounds like I, I, I'm talking about Ashen Lewis a lot from stories that come through, that's because Ashen Lewis sends me a lot of stories, mostly to my Twitter inbox. I must get about 10 stories from him a day, and I just kind of pick out which ones I think I should talk about on my channel. Almost all of them could be talked about, but ones that I know I'm going to get a very good response. But shout out to Ashen Lewis nonetheless. That doesn't mean I'm neglecting all my other subscribers who send me the emails, but that the Twitter is, I guess, for him more easier to send me because it's pretty much it's instant. But shout out to um, Ashen Lewis nonetheless. And this story right here is about to get some of y'all heated, but it's also going to show right there why a lot of black Parents are going to want to start homeschooling their children. But in this picture, you see two girls by the name of Carmani Harris Jackson and her friend Trinity Smith. And these two girls were responsible for helping a video go viral of a white classmate using a racial slur. You don't have to ask which one it was. You already know which one is that one that begins with N and ends with that hard R. And what ended up happening next is like, huh but it's also not surprising so the video of them post that they posted on their snapchat of the young the, of the classmate using that word went viral so you would think that something would happen to the student that said that word not in this case almost not in any cases to be honest what ended up happening is the administrators decided to come together and collab and suspend the two girls that recorded it. Yes, they suspended the two black girls that recorded their white classmate using that word. And nothing happened to the classmate. Let me go ahead and read this article. A North Carolina high school discussion over Wednesday's national school walkout quickly turned into a racist argument after one student angry about the prospect of changing gun law said the N-word on a Snapchat video. On March 14th, one month after the Parkland school shooting, students across the country will walk out of classes as a part of a nationwide debate over guns in schools. But discussion of the proposed walkout at Central Cabarrus High School in Concord, North Carolina, resulted in four students getting suspended last month. Two of the students, both black, were handed a two-day in-school suspension after republishing a video viewed by BuzzFeed News on social media of a white student saying the N-word while criticizing gun reform. They told BuzzFeed News they didn't think it was fair that they were punished for drawing attention to racism among classmates. I was a victim in the situation and you all got mad at me for putting it out there, said Carmani Harris Jackson, a 15-year-old sophomore at CCSH, CCHS, about school administrators. Harris Jackson, who describes herself as a liberal, says she's up there. Hold on. There it is right there. She says they said she describes herself as a liberal, which leads me to believe that the uh, administrators are hard right leaning uh political wise she says she po started posting on snapchat about gun reform after other students started slamming the proposed walkout someone posted on snapchat how the walkout would be stupid how without guns we wouldn't have any of the stuff we have today and that we were wasting our time walking out that just spells out uh colonizer all the way through that particular post how we wouldn't have things we have today without guns how about that so they pretty much admitted what we as black people already knew, that with their guns, they feel like they are the shit. She said she then posted a Snapchat story saying people like herself weren't trying to take guns away, but she wanted more restrictions on who would buy them. She said, and a few white students who identified as conservative went back and forth debating gun reform via their Snapchat stories on February 21st. A white female student then recorded her friend who is also a white CCHS student in a Snapchat video filmed in a car where she said they're putting laws on who can purchase a gun. No nigger. BuzzFeed News spoke with via via Instagram DM with a girl who said the N-word who said she didn't want to speak about it as she had moved on. See, moved on. It's so easy for a lot of them to simply just move on, or is it? Because I'm not even going to mention the case, but let's just say it happened in 1994, and I'm going to leave it at that. And that BuzzFeed News had no right to cover. She then blocked the reporter from her Instagram profile. The girl who shot the video didn't respond to questions from BuzzFeed News. Both girls are minors. Harris Jackson took the racial slurs to be a direct insult. 
for her public Snapchat comments. Me and the girl who said it were friends before this happened. Well, I guess she isn't your friend after all. But as soon as I have a different view, you call me a very harmful and offensive racial slur. I would have made a joke about her opioid plague and kept it moving. That's exactly why you have people like myself and Lisa Cabrera to put this stuff out there. If they would just watch our videos, see, we it, all they'd have to do is put them in a classroom, turn our videos on, and have a marathon. I'm telling you, it'll help you look at the colonizer in a whole different light. But as soon as I have a difference of view, she called me a very harmful and offensive racial slur. She said it in a joking manner, but there are boundaries of things you joke about, and that's not one of the things you joke about. So Harris Jackson and her best friend Trinity Smith, also a CCHS sophomore, reposted the video on their Facebook and Twitter profiles naming the girl and mentioning that she attends the school. It got over 10,000 views and 200 retweets on Smith's Twitter alone. Both noted one reason they wanted to hold the girl accountable for her comments was that they offered witness racism at the school, such as KKK, scratching to the bathroom walls and white students casually saying the N-word, and it felt bad to be ignored previously. Students reposted the videos talking about their own experience of racism at the school and current and former students email complaints to principal Andrew Crook. Other white students came out defending the white girl's use of the N-word. Of course they did. They gotta remain on code. Four students told BuzzFeed News that two white girls, the one who said the N-word and the one who recorded it, were given out of school suspensions, but Ronnie, I hope I'm pronouncing their, uh, their name right, Boone, the communications director for Cabarrus County Schools, says she wouldn't discuss the punishment of individual students. On February 22nd, the morning after the video with the slur was posted and reposted, school administrators asked Smith and Harris Jackson to remove it from their accounts. Both said that at first they didn't want to, then eventually they did. Smith only agreed after the school authorities told her with her mother on speakerphone that she wouldn't face any disciplinary action. See, they don't want that to get out because it would expose the true nature of the school. Based on reading this, it seems that the school has a very racist history. The next day, both girls were informed that they would receive two days of in-school suspension for creating a disruptive environment. Sometimes you just got to laugh to avoid being pissed off at some of the crap that they post, but I, I guess. I know for a fact if I hadn't posted it and caused a disruption, you wouldn't have cared as much. You all would have swept it under the rug. I can understand if I actually did something bad, but the fact is I didn't threaten this girl. I didn't say anything derogatory. I didn't start a fight with her. The only thing I did was post the video and said I was disgusted with what she said because it was disgusting. Smith's mother, Sharon Shingler, age 47, told BuzzFeed News she thought her daughter's suspension was very baffling since Trinity was standing up against racist behavior. You're standing up for what is right and you're getting in trouble for standing up for what is right. When asked about the incidents of racism at the school, Crook, the principal, directed BuzzFeed News to Boone, the county spokesperson. See how he had to shift to go elsewhere? He had to shift them into another direction because he didn't have the balls to answer the questions, which lets me know what kind of school he's quote-unquote running. We investigate all claims and use the provisions outlined in the board policy to determine disciplinary action. I can't read any more of this. I just can't. It's just a bunch of BS coming from them administrators as usual. But I do commend the girls for actually taking action and doing something. They had to hold a small L. And it's a very small one with that whole in-school suspension thing, which I always thought was silly anyway. What the hell is in-school suspension? I've heard of detention, but I've never in-school suspension always kind of made me chuckle because it didn't make any sense to me. But I, I guess. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments about this story.